Hey, Pommes. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm a bit ill at the moment, so I can't record this properly. That's why I've decided to try out an AI text-to-speech. I'm looking forward to your feedback. Please be patient if you don't like it, because, like I said, I'm ill. And even if you don't like the AI voice, you get three videos this week, so... Yeah, I hope you can accept this. When you mod Hearts of Iron, you may find yourself singing a song about how new updates, especially DLCs, ruin your mod. Since it has happened again, and I don't know of any other tutorials, I want to show you how to fix it. In general, there are usually two reasons why a mod crashes after an update. Either something has changed in the research, or the map has gained more states. Here, we'll focus on the map. Now, there are two possibilities here. Either you have made changes to the map yourself or not. If you haven't, you can skip the next part. Here is a timestamp when it becomes relevant for you again. So, you've changed the map, probably using the nudge tool. Congratulations, now you'll need to learn how to do it without the nudge tool. Even though you can theoretically create new states with the nudge tool and copy everything, you would need to update all decisions, focuses, and anything related to the states. This will lead to problems, so let's avoid it. We now need to search through two folders, the map folder and the history slash states folder. You must be aware of which states you added, and it's best to mark them in all files we'll talk about, as I did. The first thing you need to do is to find the states that have the same number or ID as in vanilla and copy them into your mod. Change the number in the name keeping in mind that it must be one higher than the state with the highest number in vanilla. For example, if you changed state 935 before the current update, check which file has the highest number. In this update, it's 969, Rio Branco. So you need to change 935, Ciara to 970, Ciara. Once done, copy the original file, 935 Ciara, into your mod. Open it, delete everything, and make a note that it's a placeholder, so Hearts of Iron doesn't open 935 Ciara from vanilla. After completing that, open your renamed file, in our case, 970, Ciara. Look for code that refers to the previous number, which should only be name and ID. Note the previous number of the state and change it to the new number. Next, go into the map files mentioning the states. These should be airports, buildings, and rocket sites. Look for your created states, in my case, 935, and copy all lines referring to them. In airports and rocket sites, it should be just one line each, but in buildings, there are many lines. I recommend storing the lines from buildings in another file temporarily. Don't forget to mark which lines belong to your created state. Delete the three files and insert the vanilla version into your mod. Then, copy your stored lines into the new files. Afterward, Search for all lines referring to the vanilla state you renamed in the history files, which, in our case, is 935. Change 935 to the new number, in our example, 970. Be careful not to change too much, as there are provinces that might have the same name as your state. If you've been successful, your files should now work, and your mod states should be visible in the nudge tool. In the error log, you can find hints about states still causing problems. If it says an ID is duplicated, you need to fix that. However, in my experience, the error log doesn't indicate if there's an error in one of the map files, so be extra cautious here. As long as you have marked your changes thoroughly in the files, finding the error shouldn't be a problem. But we're not done yet, as now it's time to copy. If you're modding in nudge mode, which I strongly recommend, a list of errors should automatically open. If you're modding in the regular Hearts of Iron mode, you'll find the error logs in the same folder where your mods are. You just need to go one folder back and find the logs. Now filter by states. If you find lines that look like these, then you're on the right track. First, copy all new states from vanilla Hearts of Iron into your mod. The new states are obviously the ones with a higher number than those in your mod. In the last DLC, these are all states with an ID over 934 starting from 935. Sierra, you have two options now. Either delete all content from the files so that you only have the old Hearts of Iron states on your map, but this can cause map problems, so I wouldn't recommend it. It's better to look at the error messages. Find all files that are older, so anything less than 935, and remove the provinces mentioned in the errors. 
Be careful to delete forts, victory points, and ports as well. If you've done it right, your game should load again, or at least not crash due to map problems. If it still crashes, it might be because there are countries mentioned in the files that you deleted from the game, like Brazil is mentioned here.